Why don't you tell me the story of your life? The story of my life? We've got 18 hours to kill before graduation. The story of my life isn't going to get us out of this place. I mean, nothing's happened to me yet. So I'm going to America. So something can happen to you? Yeah. Like what? Like I'm going to America to become a writer. So you can write about things that happen to other people? It's one way to look at it. Suppose nothing happens to you. Suppose you live your whole life and you never become anything, and you never meet anyone. And finally you die one of those horrible American deaths, where the smell just out into the hallway and nobody notices for about two weeks. Amy mentioned you had a dark side. That's what drew me to her. Your dark side? Yeah. Why? You tell me you have a dark side. No, you're probably one of those silly people who dot their eyes with little hearts. I have as much of a dark side than any person. Oh really? When I get a new book, I read the last page first. That way if I die before I finish, I know how it turns out. That, my friend, is a dark side. It doesn't mean you're a deep or anything. I mean, I'm basically a happy person. <laughs> and so am I. And I don't see that there's anything wrong with that. And there isn't. It's just you're always happy. Do you even think about death? Yeah. <laughs> sure you do. A fleeting thought that drifts in and out of the transom of your mind. I spend hours. I spend days. And do you think that makes you a better person? Look, when the shit comes down, I'm going to be prepared. And you're not. That's all I'm saying. Because in the meantime, you're going to spend your whole life waiting for it. What are you going to do in Leeds? I don't know. I'm just about to graduate from York. I think you should be a doctor. I think you'll be good at telling people they're going to die.